good evening everyone this is a uh, one more session on the c programming language in this session uh, we need to understand another set of operators behavior mm. before starting with this session as usual if my voice is clear and able to see the screen properly please type one okay so if you able to recollect uh, what we discussed in the last lecture in the last lecture we are trying to understand the logical operators logical and logical or and logical not and in this logical not is the unary and remaining two are the binary so when we are doing the logical operations we need to check the operands are uh, zero or non zero we no need to worry what is that uh, other than these things and in the logical and if the first operand is zero we no need to solve the second operand directly we can conclude the result of that operation as zero if the logical or if the first operand is one no need to say, check the second operand directly we can conclude the result as a one and all these operators will not modify the operand so we can supply the constants or variables like this <laughs> and all these operators result is zero or all these operators result is zero or one uh after that uh, when we give a bigger expression to the compiler how the compiler is going to solve that bigger expression that we are trying to understand and like this so many things we discussed in the last lecture so today we need to discuss as i mentioned here today's discussion is bitwise operators so today's discussion is on the bitwise operators so how many bitwise operators are there i hope some of you already may know this about uh, how many bitwise operators i'll write it here bitwise and bitwise or bitwise xor bitwise complement bitwise left shift bitwise right shift i'll write it here it require two operands bitwise and it is called as a bitwise and and this is it is also required two operands this is called as a bitwise or this is also called uh, required two operands this is bitwise xor and tilt this is bitwise complement it required only one operand it required only one operand this is bitwise complement and this is bitwise left shift this is also required two operands bitwise left left shift this is a bitwise right shift this is also required two operands so uh, so this is a bitwise operator some of you may have a doubt sir is the shift operators also considered as a bitwise operators answer is yes the shift operators also considered as a bitwise operators why because here we need to deal with a bit shifting again the shift operators also considered as bitwise operators why because here bit shifting uh, bit shift and is shifting is done so we need to consider this as a bitwise operator so in this uh, all these bitwise operators will you agree only one operator is the unary bitwise complement the remaining operators are the binary operators there is no bitwise not is the s2 there is no bitwise not this not operator is not comes to bitwise this not operator is uh, uh, yesterday's discussion logical not got the point there is no bitwise not operator bitwise and bitwise or bitwise x or bitwise complement left shift and right shift operators 
and next important point about these operators is all these operators will not modify the operands next point all these operators will not modify the operands all these operators will not modify the operands so all these operators will not modify the operands so meaning is we can supply here meaning is we can supply here constants variables one constant one variable one variable one constant this is the unary operator v3 this is the bitwise complement is the unary operator which required only one operand to perform the task but remaining operators which i mentioned here those are the binary so all these operators will not modify the operands if they are not going to modify the operands so as you know we can supply the variables or we can supply the constants as an operands again i need to ask today also till now whatever the operators we discussed which operator is such operator which will modify the operand till now whatever the operators we discussed till now which operator is such operator which will modify the operands only the operator is this is assignment operator it will assign the right hand side to the left hand side so that left hand side must and should be the variable constants are not allowed so till now only one operator such operator we discussed which will modify the operands so that is assignment remaining operators till now whatever we discussed it those will not modify the operands next and a very important point we cannot apply real numbers to this bitwise operator so we cannot apply real numbers to this bitwise operators can you tell me uh, any such operator till now we discussed for that also we cannot apply the real numbers real numbers means float and double correct real numbers means float and double yes there is one operator called modulus operator for modulus operators also we cannot apply our, uh, real numbers similarly all these bitwise operators we cannot apply the real numbers float and double we cannot pass it so uh, what is the property of the bitwise operators the name itself tells you it will do the bitwise operations let's suppose if i take an example with a small example let's begin today's session uh just a minute it is taking some time how's it st driver dot h void main suppose if i take int i is equals to 10 and j is equals to 15 comma k if write k is equals to i double and with a j now tell me this double and is a bitwise or logical this double and is a bitwise or logical can i say it is a logical so when it is a logical operation do i need to convert i into binary j into binary if it is a logical operation do i need to convert i into binary or j into binary no can you tell me what is the k value in this case in this case k is 1 asan yes, but now the point is we are not discussing the logical operation k is equals to i single and with j k is equals to i single and with j Again, k is equals to i single and with a j. Single and is nothing but a bitwise and. Now, now what is the i value? I value is i value is ten. What is the binary format of ten? I value is ten. What is the binary format of ten? Zero 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 one zero one zero. Can I say remaining bits are zeros? Ah, uh, four bytes, thirty-two bits. and what is the binary format of j 15 this is the i which we given 15 is 1 1 1 1 remaining bits are zeros 
in between these two which operation is doing in between i and j we are doing the bitwise and the table is same now tell me zero and with one zero and with one zero one and with one one and with one one zero and with one zero one and with one one zero and with zero 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 now this result is i am storing into this result i am storing into the k can i guess what is the k holds in this case this result i am storing into the k can you tell me what is the k value will you agree k value is a 10 will you agree k value is a 10 here okay now what we'll do we'll print the k value print f k is equals to percent ld slash n comma k i'm printing the k value observe k is 10 so i value is j value is 15 yeah my written this is a zero p8 that is a zero <laughs> p9 is it clear this is a zero not uh, one okay i is 10 j is 15 so k value bitwise and that is a uh, what you call the 10 if it is a bitwise or instead of and do i need to write a truth, uh, truth table for this and and or so what we'll do first we'll fill the truth table first we'll write the truth table and xr also there we'll see that after that we'll think about it xr is also there okay we'll see that and this is the a this is the b this is the a and with b this is the a r with b and r and xr whatever it is other this is the a this is the b this is the a and with b this is the a r with b this is the a x r with b 00011011000010011 can anybody know the x r table if both are both zeros are both zeros are both uh, operands are zero and both operands are one one then these are zeros if those who are having a doubt on this uh, you can note it down if both zeros one both ones are also one one is zero one is one one is one one is a zero that is a xr correct this is an xr <sighs> now let's consider let's see uh, uh okay both uh, zeros are zero both ones are zero okay both zeros are zero both ones are zero and these are the ones let's see the table let's see the table already this table is there so bitwise uh, xr both zeros are zero both ones also zero if it is one is zero another one is a one one is one another one is a zero then one correct so can i modify this both both zeros both zeros are zeros both ones are also zero when zero one is there one one zero uh, zero one is there uh, one one zero zero one is there one 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 zero is there one now is it clear <coughs> hmm? if both zeros and both ones in those cases zero if uh, both are different then one this is the xr table now um, if i take i as 10 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 j as 15 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 
if i do the r operation if i do the bitwise r operation 0 or with 1 0 or with 1 1 1 or with 1 1 0 or with 1 1 1 or with 1 1 can i say this becomes a this becomes what 15 yes sir so if i write k is equals to k is equals to i r with j <coughs> print of k is equals to percentile d slash n comma k let's see what is the first k value i am getting uh, first k value already we decided that is a 10 second k value what we will get let's see this so 15 and if i do it k is equals to i'll comment these two things slash star star slash if i write k is equals to i xr with j print f k is equals to percentile d slash n comma k print f k is equals to percentile d slash n comma k k is equals to i i is 10 j is uh, uh, 15 now k is equals to i xr with j how many of you decided 5 k is 5 how it is 5 let's see how it is 5 let's see i is 10 uh, j is 15 xr table already we written here uh, 0 r with 1 0 r with 1 0 r with 1 xr with 1 sorry 0 xr with 1 can anybody tell me 0 xr with 1 answer is 1 correct 1 xr with 1 0 0 xr with 1 1 1 xr with 1 0 what is the value here what is the value in this case this is the 5 is this is this calculation is clear is this operation is clear okay now, now you tell me if i write any one input must be high uh, you can take a higher number uh, just a minute if I take k is equals to complement of i, if I take k is equals to complement of i, what is the k value? i value is 10, k is equals to complement of i, <coughs> i value is 10, k is equals to complement of i. Now here you should be very careful, you need to consider all the 32 bits, all of you given the wrong answers, all of you who given, everyone is given the answer as a 5, that is a wrong answer. Why? Because complement operator will complement each and every bit. Why? Because complement operator, complement will, comp each and every bit gets complemented. When each and every bit gets complemented, let's see what is the uh, situation this is not a minus it is not a obviously it is not a five let's see what is this now tell me what is the binary format of 10 can i say 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 will you agree this is a integer data type as all of you know that integer means 4 bytes so this is the 4 byte binary format of 10 now this i am complementing each bit we need to complement 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 0 
वन जीरो वन आफ्टर कॉम्प्लीमेंटिंग दिस टेन विल यू अग्री दिस दट आई एम स्टोरिंग इन टू द के दट आई एम स्टोरिंग इन टू द के नाउ आई नीड टू डिसाइड वट इज द के वैल्यू नाउ आई नीड टू डिसाइड वट इज द के वैल्यू नाउ टेल मी साइन बीट इज वन वेन साइन बीट इज वन विल अग्री इट इज अ नेगेटिव नंबर वेन द साइन बीट इज वन इट इज अ नेगेटिव नंबर हाउ टू डिसाइड विच नेगेटिव नंबर to decide which negative number i need to go for again two's complement because negative numbers are stored in its two's complement you might have remembered negative numbers are stored in its two's complement how to decide which negative number again i need to follow the reverse process i need to do the two's complement of this when i do the two's complement of this one's complement means will you agree this is only you will get one's complement means 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 
one of your friend given the answer i and with j is a 4 i and with j is a 4 so as all of you know that as an embedded engineer you need to deal with a microprocessor or controller hardware hardware knows on z only zeros and ones so in an embedded system bitwise operators plays a very important role again in an embedded system everything is a bits only you should be very careful about the bitwise operators take your own time don't be hurry once all the answers are completed then only type the answers in middle don't type it once all the answers are complete in this type of situations your first target will be how much fast you need to convert into the binary so depends upon that you can easily uh, like faster you can calculate the result binary conversion as fast as possible you need to do it Again, I'm requesting to everyone, don't type single single answers. Those who completed total, total answers with a comma you mentioned. P9, that is wrong. Again, I'm saying if you are not converted numbers into binary correctly, all the answers you will get wrong. Again, if you are not converted the numbers into binary correctly, all the answers become wrong. Let's see the answers. Four, two, four, eight, two, four, six, two, four, two, minus one, zero, one. I'll write it here. Answers are four, two, four, six, two, four, two, minus one, zero, one. So to get this result, first your binary conversion should be correct. Will you agree? First your binary conversions are correct. Once that is correct, then simple bitwise and bitwise are bitwise. The name itself tells you bitwise. So first responsibility, you need to convert into binary, then you can. Those who got the wrong answers, can you cross check once again? Again, I'm requesting don't neglect such type of small, small points. It's very important interview problem solving, interview point of view. And try to learn the shortcut way to convert the number into binary. And tell me these answers, these answers are correct or not. One of your friend is asking, uh, can we print the binary number, which format specifier we need to use? So that assignment already I given you. 
uh, what is the bin uh, what is the format specified to print the binary format and we can write a program also once we started with a for loop we can start writing the program to print the number into the binary once we started writing the for loop we can write the program to convert the number into binary uh, one of your friend is asking sir for i xr y 4 bytes can we explain once again k4 what's your question in all the cases actually you need to convert a 4 byte number 4 byte binary here also you need to convert this 100 into 4 byte binary 150 into 4 byte binary okay one of your friend is asking uh, to explain complement of i to explain this complement of i how many of you converted that 100 into binary how many of you converted that 100 into binary okay what is the binary form of 100 what is the binary format of 100 one just a minute uh, well some of the answers i got uh, zero double one zero zero one double zero is it one two four eight sixteen thirty two sixty four sixty four plus thirty two how much sixty four plus thirty two how much ninety six ninety six plus four but when you are doing but when you are doing the complement only these one byte you need to complement all the thirty two bits you need to complement only one byte all all the uh, four bytes you need to do the four bytes all the 32 bits now can i say zero 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 one one zero zero one zero zero this is the 32 bit binary format of 100 now I need to complement it. Very simple. One 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 zero zero one one zero one one. After complementing the binary format of hundred, this is the result. This result where we are storing. This result where we are storing will agree this result we are storing into the k can i say k holds this binary form in a k the 32 bits whatever the 32 bits are present in the k that 32 bits contains this much the 32 bits contain this this is the result all of you accept this all of you accept this now i need to say which number this is the student who asked me to repeat this uh, compliment uh, got the point okay now what i need to do is i need to decide which number this is now when i need to decide which number this is because this is a sign bit sign bit is a one will you agree this is some negative number sign bit is one it is a negative number hmm? now to decide which negative number that is by seeing this you decided that is a negative number okay well done. but which negative number that is to do which negative number to decide which negative number we need to do the twos complement s6 getting the point when you do the twos complement when you do the ones complement will you agree you will get like this only again ones complement like that plus one when you do the ones complement all zeros zero one one zero 0 1 0 0 plus 1 so this is a binary addition 0 plus 1 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 0 what is this means minus 1 0 1 why we need to do the first time you are talking about why we need to do this one from from this to this s5 what is the operation here 
that is very like funny question what is the operation here for that operation we are doing right understood s5 why we need to do the complement twice because after complementing this is the result this is stored into the k to decide which negative number this is again we need to do the two's complement to decide which negative number s6 got the point k holds this binary k holds this result k holds this result so we need to decide which which number that is because the sign bit is 1 we need to do the it is a negative number to decide which negative number we need to do the two's complement now tell me if the sign bit might have zero do we need to do the two's complement to decide which negative number if a sign bit is zero do we need to do the two's complement to which uh, to decide which negative number no i hope s6 sir uh, all of you got this point can you proceed next can i proceed next suppose if my number is let's take one example if my number is int i is equals to minus 10 k is equals to complement of i after this what is the i value what is the k value decide it i is minus 10 k is equals to complement of i after that what is the i value what is the k value first you need to convert minus 10 into binary first you need to convert minus 10 into binary will you agree first you need to convert minus 10 into binary do this take one minute of time try to do this and tell me the what is the k value i value I got one answer as a ten, another answer as a two forty six, another answer as a minus five. I got another answer as a nine. I got one correct answer. Minus eleven, wrong. Zero, wrong. Two forty six, wrong. Ten, wrong. One zero six, wrong. Seventy three, wrong. Eleven, wrong. One thirty seven, wrong. Nine correct. Now all of you see here. All of you stop uh, doing, and all of you stop doing, and see here. Uh, all of you stop doing, and see here. Minus ten. First, let's see what is a minus ten binary. What is a ten binary? What is the binary format of a ten? Zero 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 zero. Zero 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 one zero one zero. Will you agree? This is a ten. All of you accept. Are we dealing with a ten or minus ten? Are we doing with a ten or minus ten? Minus ten. Can I say I need to do the two's complement? Negative numbers are stored in its two's complement. Uh, S five. Just clarification. This is not a sixty-four bits, man. This is a thirty-two bits. This is a thirty-two bits because integer. 
S5. This is an integer data type, so 4 bytes, 32 bits. Hmm? Now, minus 10. I need to do the twos complement. 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. So this is a ones complement, plus 1. 1 plus 1, 1, 0, 0 plus 1, 1, 1, just a minute, I'll clear it. We are still we are converting the minus 10, we are representing the minus 10 binary. Can I say all bits are ones? Now will you agree this is the minus 10 binary? How many of you accept this? This is the minus 10 binary, how many of you accept this? Okay, so this minus 10, I am trying to complement it and storing into the K. When I am trying to complement again 0000 0000 0000 0000 0000 0000 0000 0000 0000 0000 0000 0000 0000 0000 0000 0000 0000 0000 0000 0000 0000 0000 0000 0000 0000 0000 0000 0000 0000 1 0 0 1 this result this result is copied into k this result is copied into the k now tell me do i need to uh, do the two's complement of this or not do i need to do the two's complement of this or not no why we no need to do the two's complement of that why why because sign bit is zero so no need to do that was complement. Can I say 9? The result is 9. My sincere request to all of you, those who give uh, written the wrong answers, try to realize where went wrong. These type of small, small things in a future, you should not do mistakes. If these type of small things, if you do the mistakes, entire program will go out. You will get a zero marks. So it is a 9. So minus 10, it is a 9. Minus 10, it is a 9. <sighs> Anything? Uh, V3, what's your question? Sir, if you got MSB bit is 1, then definitely we need to do the 2's complement. V3, if we got 32, 30, 31st bit is 1, definitely we need to do the 2's complement to decide which negative number. To decide we must and should do that, then only we can decide which negative number that is. Otherwise we can't. Now tell me, <laughs> if you take one example, if you take one example, int i is equals to 1, hmm? int i is equals to 1 j is equals to complement of i j is equals to complement of i now what is the binary format of 1 v3 can you tell me what is the binary format of 1 integer when you are writing the answer you should be very careful integer binary format of 1 all 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 
Now this because of this complement V3 because of this complement I need to do 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 0 this I did because of this operator V3 got the point this complement I did because of this operator this operation this result where it is present V3 can I tell me this result where we are copying V3 can I tell me this result where we are copying we are copying into J this result where we are copying we are copying into J now can I say now J is holding this binary this is the J V3 J in a J this will be there okay now I need to decide which negative number this is now I need to decide which number this is first V3 please answer it now we need to decide which number this is yes or no? if I print print of percentile D comma J what is the value it will print we need to decide please reply to V3 huh yes now by looking the last bit minor uh, last bit is one can I say that is it will print negative number J3 V3 sorry mm. yes so which negative number how to decide yes you decided this is a negative number to decide which negative number what you need to do V3 ah yes I need to do the two's complement and we need to decide which negative number this is in that case you will get minus 2 this complement operation this complement operation because this operator I did here to decide which negative number again I need to do the two's complement because the sign bit is 1 I hope not only for uh, V3 other things are uh, H1 is asking one big question uh, give me some time to read it sir one clarification I need it is when storing a negative numbers we should take two's complement but when to know what number is that stored we need to consider again two's complement but at this time we need to check the sign bit of that number yes yes definitely correct h1 if the sign bit is one then only you need to go for the two's complement otherwise you no need to do the two's complement already when we are talking about the characters and short integers already I discussed it correct <coughs> I hope this is clear for everyone let's move to the next discussion uh, now sir in this swap logic there are so many logics are there other n1 is equals to n1 xr with n2 n2 is equals to n1 xr with n2 and n1 is equals to n1 xr with n2 again here we need to take the help of uh, we need to take the help of bitwise operators another way of uh, swapping the two numbers bitwise XR operator I am taking the help n1 is equals to n1 XR with n2 n2 is equals to n1 XR with n2 n1 is equals to n1 XR with n2 enter the two numbers 10 15 as it before swapping n1 is 10 n2 is 15 after swapping n1 is 15 n2 is 10 will you agree the numbers are get swapped here will you agree the numbers are get swapped here before swap n1 is 10 n2 is 15 after swap n1 is 15 n2 is 10 okay how this logic is working let's understand I'll write this, I'll copy these three lines. Just a minute, I'll copy these three lines. I'll paste it somewhere in this 
paint application <coughs> suppose my n1 is 10 n2 is 20 sorry n1 is 10 n2 is 15 without making the more complex n1 is 10 n2 is 15 so take your notes and solve it initially n1 is 10 n2 is 15 after this expression what is the n1 and n2 after this expression what is the n1 and n2 after the last expression what is the n1 and n2 take a time because you know the uh, xr operator behavior now after the first expression after the expression 1 after the expression 1 what is the n1 and n2 after the expression 2 what is the n1 and n2 what is, after this expression 3 what is the n1 and n2 in a program i printed in program r3 printed here i taken the previous program i have not written a new program r3 got the point now all of you start solving this and Anna realize after these three expressions solving after these three expressions solving numbers are going to be exchanged or not after these three expressions solving numbers are going to be exchanged or not please if you want take a little bit more time but don't cheat yourself because at this stage i cannot see your notes oh, no. yes or no Yes, exchanged. Can anybody tell me? After first expression, what is the N1 and N2? N2 is 15 only. What is the N1? N1 is 5. Okay. After the second expression, N1 is 5. N2 is 10. After the third expression, 15. 10 can I say numbers are exchanged here all of you agree v3 agree with the statement okay if I got a confirmation from v3 that is done hmm? <coughs> I hope everyone got this so this is another logic for doing some like this is show the code okay this code anyway I will share it this is nothing before swapping after swapping I printed p8 I taken the example previous example before swapping after swapping uh, one student is asking to please explain it last question means which question 
यू आर एक्सपेक्टिंग स्वैपिंग ऑफ टू नंबर इज इट लास्ट क्वेश्चन मीन्स विच क्वेश्चन इज इट दिस स्वैपिंग ऑफ टू नंबर डिस्कशन और प्रीवियस डिस्कशन इज स्वैपिंग ऑफ टू नंबर स्वैपिंग ऑफ टू नंबर ओके अब सर प्लीज ट्राई टू हेल्प मी सो एन वन इज टेन एन टू इज फिफ्टीन टेन बाइनरी जीरो 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 वन जीरो वन जीरो हियर आई एम कंसिडरिंग हाउ मेनी बाइट्स हियर आई एम कंसिडरिंग हाउ मेनी बाइट्स वन बाइट बट एक्चुअली यूनिट टू कंसिडर फोर बाइट्स बिकॉज आई टेक एन वेरी स्मॉल नंबर वन बाइट इज एनफ एंड एन टू इज फिफ्टीन जीरो 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 वन 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 नाउ अब्जर्व इन दिस एक्सप्रेशन एन वन एक्स आर विथ एन टू नॉट एन मीन जीरो एक्स आर विथ वन जीरो एक्स आर विथ वन 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 एक्स आर विथ वन जीरो जीरो एक्स आर विथ वन 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 एक्स आर विथ वन जीरो 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 दिस रिजल्ट आई एम स्टोरिंग इन टू एन वन दिस रिजल्ट आई एम स्टोरिंग इन टू एन वन नो वॉट इज द करंट एन वन करंट एन वन इज फाइव करंट एन टू इज फिफ्टीन विल एक्सेप्ट द स्टूडेंट हू आस्ट मी टू रिपीट इट करंट एन वन इज फाइव एन टू इज फिफ्टीन विल एक्सेप्ट इट ओके नो ऑब्जर्व वेन यू आर डूइंग द सेकेंड एक्सप्रेशन यू नीड टू कंसिडर द लेटेस्ट एन वन एंड लेटेस्ट एन टू वेन यू आर सॉल्विंग द सेकेंड एक्सप्रेशन यू नीड टू कंसिडर द लेटेस्ट एन वन एंड लेटेस्ट एन टू सो वट इज द लेटेस्ट एन वन एंड लेटेस्ट एन टू प्लीज लेट मी नो वेन यू आर सॉल्विंग द सेकेंड एक्सप्रेशन वट इज द लेटेस्ट एन वन फाइव जीरो 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 वन जीरो वन फिफ्टीन एन टू जीरो 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 वन 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 वॉट वी आर डूइंग हेयर एक्स आर सो वन एक्स आर विथ वन जीरो जीरो एक्स आर विथ वन 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 एक्स आर विथ वन जीरो जीरो एक्स आर विथ वन वन जीरो 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 वेर वी आर स्टोरिंग दिस दिस एक्सप्रेशन रिजल्ट वेर वी आर स्टोरिंग दिस इन टू एन टू ना वट विल बी द एन टू आफ्टर दिस वट विल बी द एन टू एन टू इज टेन ऑलरेडी एन वन इज फाइव नाउ गॉट द पॉइंट now when you are solving the third expression will you agree you need to consider the latest n1 and latest n2 when we are solving the third expression we need to uh, we need to consider the latest n1 and latest n2 yes sir latest n1 is what 5 latest n2 is what 10 and the result is stored into n1 now if you do this uh, you will get n1 as a 15 n2 as a n1 is a 15 n2 is a 10 can you do this last one at least can you do this last one can you tell me still names are coming so if continuously names are coming without your id tomorrow they will block be very careful call to the front office try to solve your problems otherwise will not responsible for that those names are coming those who are not logging with registered mail ids one two days you will take okay so you called but not there is no response okay then you mail to me you mail to me my mail id i think you know because uh calling the name in this virtual class is not good yes sir is this is clear is the numbers are get swapped okay this is one of the method so i hope uh, with this discussion you got whenever there is a binary op- whenever there is a bitwise operator is there uh, you need to convert the number into binary then you need to decide 
you need to convert the number into binary then you need to decide okay complement operators you should be very careful in a interview complement of 10 is not a 5 complement of 10 is a minus 11 you should be very careful about this complement of 10 is not a 5 complement of 10 is a minus 11 now you need to answer it suppose int i is equals to 10 comma j j is equals to not of i and j is equals to complement of i what is the j value here what is the j value here be very careful j is equals to not of i j is equals to complement of i in a not of i j value is zero in a complement of i j value is minus 11 in these two cases in which case i need to convert the number into binary in these two cases in which case we need to convert the number into binary in a second case one question came in middle uh, k3 sir in previous program of bitwise operators why we didn't consider the previous value of k in a previous program of bitwise operators you means to say uh, in this program k3 in this program so observe here i and j result is stored into the k after that i and r j result is stored into the k now where is the term called consider the latest k i am printed i printed the k here k3 getting the point here when you are doing this i and r j what is the role of the k here k3 got the point now tell me here instead of i if i might have written k here will you agree i need to consider the latest k instead of i if there is a k will you agree i need to consider the latest k k3 got the point observe suppose here i is not there k is there k is equals to k r with j now tell me should i need to consider uh, this latest k right here hmm? okay now one of your friend is asking sir how not and complement work that's what i am saying not operator is a logical operator it will never worry about what is the value inside this only zero or non zero it will work complement operator is a bitwise complement every bi every uh, bit we need to complement s2 where the point and in these two cases will you agree i value is never going to be changed in those two cases i value is not going to be changed the result is copied into the j the result is copied into the j but i value is not changed that is also you need to observe very carefully k6 is asking one question let me write that question sir if k is equals to not of i if i is a non zero if i is a non zero k value is a zero very simple yesterday you are not there in the class when i is a non zero k value is a zero if i is a zero k value is a one k6 is it clear <coughs> okay then. now if this bitwise uh, what you call bitwise and bitwise or bitwise x or bitwise complement if it is clear we will we'll move to the bitwise shift operators 
bit wise shift operators little bit tricky little bit tricky discussion bit wise shift so how many shift operators are there how many shift operators are there two left shift and right shift what is the first one those who are beginners you can note it down first one is a left shift and the second one is a right shift first one is a left shift second one is a right shift now these are unary operators or binary operators these are unary operators or binary operators answer is both are binary operators it require two operands to perform the task both are binary operators it require two operands to perform the task left shift or right shift both are binary it require two operands to perform the task and all these operators will it modify the operands will it modify the operands will it modify the operands no can i say here i can pass a variable or a constant 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 now now tell me k is equals to how will you pronounce this k is equals to i plus j you will pronounce like this yes sir k is equals to will pronounce like i plus j but if this is the case k is equals to how to pronounce this k is equals to how to pronounce this we need to pronounce i is left shifted by j times try to note it down this expression and note it down k is equals to i is k is equals to i is left shifted by j times k is equals to i is left shifted by j times or we can say first operand is shifted by second operand times or we can say first operand is shifted by second operand times getting the point what is the first operand here i second operand is j all of you copy this point type one first operand is left shifted by second operand times first operand is left shifted by second operand times okay now tell me if i is 10 j is 2 after this operation what is the i value j value i is 10 j is 2 after that operation what is the i value j value is it modified or not i value j value is modified or not answer is i and j is not going to modified again observe the question very carefully after this expression i am not asking what is the k value i am asking what is the i value and what is the j value as you know that this operator will not modify the operand so as you know that that operator will not modify the operand so after that expression k sorry i is still 10 j is still 2 those who given the answers is it clear <sighs> huh after this operation i value is still 10 j value is still 2 but that operation result that operation result is stored into the k but uh, that operation result will you agree it is stored into the k okay if this point is clear we'll discuss further if this point is clear type c first operand is left shifted by second operand times 
first operand is left shifted by second operand times but even though pronunciation is saying that first operand is shifted second operand times but actually first operand is not going to be affected after this operation first operand is not going to be changed after this operation p2 don't worry what is the k value we'll decide it what is the k value we'll decide it first very basic you should clear after that we'll see what is the k value p2 got the point okay second point is in a bitwise operators will you agree we need to convert both into binary both operands we need to convert into binary again in a bitwise operations both operands we need to convert into binary yes or no in a bitwise operations both operands we need to convert into binary but in a shift operators only first operand we need to convert into binary i'll write it and those points in bitwise and or xor we need to convert both operands into binary bitwise and bitwise or bitwise xor we need to convert both operands into binary but whereas whereas in bitwise left shift or right shift only first operand we need to convert into binary got the point in bitwise and or xor we need to convert both operands into binary to calculate the result or to do the operation whereas here only one operator first operand we need to convert into binary okay then now what is the result observed i value is 10 i'll take uh, int i is 10 j is 2 comma k k is equals to i left shifted by j times can i say can i say 10 is left shifted by 2 times in this case can we pronounce can we say 10 is left shifted by 2 times now what is the binary format of 10 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 this is the binary format of 10 will you agree this is a binary format of 10 one byte i am considering only one byte now this is shifted by two times first one time when i shift it this zero will go out this zero will come to this position this zero will come to this position this zero will come to this position this one will come to this position this zero will come to this this one will come to here this zero will come here a new zero is going to be added this is a one time shift or two time shift hmm? one time shift but actually we need to do one time shift or two time shift two times one more shift one more shift when we need to do we need to do this zero will go out of the memory this zero will come here this zero will come here this one will come here this zero will come here this one will come here this zero will come here this zero will come here a new zero going to be added so one time when you left to shift it you will get 20 two times when you left to shift you will get it as a 40. one time when you left to shift it you will get 20 two times when you left to shift it you will get it as a 40. is it a 40? is it a 40? is it a 40? 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64. 
32 plus 8. 32 plus 8. 40. Now, can I say in a left shift, the number is going to be a result is equals to number into two power shifts. Again, in the left left shift case, result is equals to number into two power shifts. Again, I'll repeat it. What is my our number? Zero, 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 one, zero, one, zero. This is my number ten. This we are shifting two times. Actually, I need to consider a four bytes, thirty-two bits, but I am considering only one byte, eight bits. Left shift. This zero will go out of the memory. This zero will come here. This zero will come here. This zero will come here. This one will come here. This zero will come here. This one will come here. Oh, this is the ten, right? This zero will come here. This zero will come. Here. Now, what is this? This is the ten. This is the ten. What is this? Can I say it is a 20? One time when you shift it. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. 16 plus 4, 20. Now one time shift in our example or two time shift? Is it one time shift or two time shift? In our example, 1 is 10 is left. I is left shifted by J times. J value is 2. So one more time when you shift it, this zero will go out, this zero will come here, this zero will come here, this one will come here, this zero will come here, this one will come here, this zero will come here, this zero will come here, new zero. This is two times. Number is 40. Can you guess three times when you shift? Can you guess three times when you 10 left shifted by three times? Yes, 80. Yes, we can add zeros depend upon the shifts and we need to last bits you need to delete it. Otherwise very simple result is equals to number into two power shifts. Result is equals to number into two power shifts. It is not 82 V1 it is a 80. Suppose one more time when I shift it. Suppose one this zero will go out, this zero will come here, this one will come here, this zero will come here, this one will come here, this zero will come here, this zero will come here, this zero will come here, a new zero is going to be added. So one, two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two, sixty-four, sixty-four plus sixteen, sixty-four plus sixteen. It doubles, that's what. It doubles result is equals to number into two power shifts. Is this point is clear? Okay, uh, so more discussion we need to do on the shift operators. But if I start a new discussion on this right shift or sign bit copy mechanism and all other things, it will take a time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wind up today's session. Tomorrow we'll continue some more about the shift operators, left shift, right shift, some expressions we need to derive, how to set a bit, how to clear a bit, how to complement the bit using these bitwise operators, shift operators and all other things. And sign bit, what is the concept we need to discuss in these uh, things. Is it clear? And what are the programs I need to, what are the programs I need to uh, share it in a Moodle? What are the program names? Just a minute, I'll note it down. C in depth book is still not uploaded. Uh, just I'll check it out. Bit dot C, first one. Second one is the swap.c. Third one, only these two. 
C in depth is already up uploaded. Where it is uploaded, C in depth exercises. Let's say I'll open it. In drive, it is there. Just a minute. This is the B6 uh, dashboard. I need to go to the B7. V20 B7. Google Drive. C in depth programs. Check it out. C in depth programs are there. In this, some practices you can you can start doing the practice. Has defined header file. Don't worry about has defined now. There is so much of things we need to understand. Okay, then. Uh, these two programs and this file, I need to upload it. I hope I am uploading with a folder with a date. So now no need of any confusion. That date you can double click it, you can download it. Uh -huh. Okay, then. thank you very much for attending it. And tomorrow we'll discuss many more things.